Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Railroad Racer 49 2005 here, and I'm back once again with another wooden train review. So for those that don't remember, so for those that don't remember, a while ago I did a review on the Burlington Northern Operation Lifesaver engine number 524. But I recently made another purchase from little short line I've had this for a couple days now but I am now starting I am now starting a review on it and this is the background that I have came up with just some trees and a sky background so I did the best I could for this so with that said let's get right into the item that we are reviewing here it is the BC rail number four 4645 C44 engine. I've been wanting this one for a while now, and I'm very happy to have it now. So for those that don't know, BC Rail, of course, was a of course was a railroad that ran up in uh, British Columbia until Canadian National bought that company out, and now they are a part of the Canadian National Railroad. Which uh, I think you still, I think there still are some BC Rail engines that are still in their original colors. I'm not so sure about the navy blue, the, the navy blue C44 engines, but I do know that there are red, some red, white, and blue ones that are still out there. But yeah, this is like the navy blue livery that they used for their uh, GE 9s. So. Yeah, so uh, here it is. And we're gonna get a closer look. So right there, it says 4645 on the cab there. You get the BC Rail logo. Got the vents. And there you see there's the handbrake and some of the other side vents right there. there are the, there's, there's the radiator on the top. The, there's the smokestack right there. And then there's the the horn right there. And then here's the front, which uh, I don't think a BC Rail engine has this specific front design. I think it's just a straight stripe down the down the front. I don't think I I don't think there's one that has this design, so it's a little inaccurate, but still that does look really cool. You got the number plates on top here, 4645. And here's the back, number 4645. You get the back, get the back headlight right there. And here, of course, here's the fuel tank. There's the screws that hold the that hold the bogies together on there. And this is my third C44 from Little Short Line. Let me bring in my two other ones. So here is my BNSF one. I have done a lot of repairs to it because the paint has just been chipping off like crazy over the years. So I try to touch it up and uh, it doesn't look too bad. So a little bit of a comparison as I knock down one of the trees. There's the front. Of course, with my BNSF C44, it didn't get this big block right here. It's the exact same size, size as the other side. But besides that, everything else really is the same. And uh, I added that Burlington Northern Santa Fe logo on the back. The actual C44 release does not have that. I just added that. So yeah, there's that. And now let's compare it to my Santa Fe C44, which is a lot more closer of a design to this one because it actually has the bigger block on the other side. And uh, 
You can tell this one's been played with a lot. A lot of paint chipping off and I had to replace the logo on this side. And the back is pretty much gone as you can see there. As I continue to knock down the trees. But that's pretty much it. Not really much else to say about this about this uh, release. So we'll set those back up. And there we go. So that is the BC Rail number 4645 by Whittle Shortline. So if, if you are a BC Rail fan, then this is definitely a, this is definitely a pickup for you. I picked it up because, uh, well, you know, British Columbia is just, is just from, is just a short shot from here. The Canadian border is just, uh, it's just not too far from here in Blaine, so. So yeah, there's that. And also, we do get a, a bit of Canadian power up here on the BNSF Bellingham subdivision, so. Like, I've seen some Canadian Pacific locomotives before. I've seen a couple of Canadian National engines. I don't think I've ever seen a BC Rail engine before, but hopefully one day I will. Because uh, that would be, that would be really cool. But anyways, there you have it. There is my review of the BC Rail Little Short Line C44. Not really much else to say. It's just a really good item. Highly recommend that you that you pick it up if it's in stock. It's a I've actually been seeing it's been in stock for a while now. Like I haven't seen it like gone and I haven't seen it go out of stock yet. So it might still be there if you if you want to if you if you want to order it. So with that, that's just going to do it for this review. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!